straightforward song so let's get started okay so let's start by taking a look at some of the basic chords we're going to be using throughout the entire song we're going to be using some open chords and I'm also going to show you some bar chords that we use in order to play the descending piano riff so let's start by looking at our open chords we've got an A minor an F major a G major and a D minor We take a look at those in more detail. For our A minor, we're not going to be playing the bottom E string at all. So we're playing the open A string, the second fret on the D with our second finger, the second fret with our third finger on the G string, and the first fret with our first finger on the B string. The top E is open. For our F chord, I'm going to show you a bar variation in a moment, but for this version we can actually play the 3rd fret on the A string with our 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the D string with our pinky, 2nd fret on the G with our 2nd finger, and then 1st fret on the top 2 strings with our 1st finger barring across both at the 1st fret. So both on the B and collapsing that finger onto the 1st fret of the E as well. So that should sound like this. Again, we're not playing the bottom E string. Okay, moving on to our G, we're playing the third fret on the bottom E string with our second finger, second fret with our first finger on the A. The middle two strings are open, and the top two strings with our third finger and our fourth finger, both at the third fret. And finally, the D minor. So here we're not going to play the E string, but we're also not going to play the A string. So we're starting from the D string downwards. So the D string is open. We then play the second fret on our G with our second finger, third fret on the B with our third finger, and first fret on the top E with our first finger. Okay, so let's take a look at our bar chords as well. The three bar chords that we're going to play are an A minor at the 5th fret, a G major at the 3rd fret, and an F at the 1st fret. So let's take a look at those in more detail. So if you're unfamiliar with bar chords, don't worry, I'll show you how to play a version of this using our open chords. However, this is really only for the descending piano riff that we hear in the verse. So if you're not too bothered about replicating that sound, don't worry, you can just stick to your open chords throughout the entire song. But should we want to replicate that, we basically have our A minor, descending to our G major at the 3rd fret, descending to our F at the 1st fret. So let's take a look at those bar chords in more detail. For the A minor, I'm barring at the 5th fret, my 1st finger on the 5th fret at the E, my 3rd finger on the 7th fret at the A, my 4th finger on the 3rd fret of the D, and the rest of the chord is underneath the bar for the remaining three strings at the fifth fret. So that should sound like this. When you descend down, you're only at the G very briefly, but just to go over that bar chord as well, that's barring at the third fret now. Our third finger and fourth finger are in the same configuration they were at the A, so that's our third finger at the fifth fret and our fourth finger at the fifth fret on the D. But we're also gonna add in our second finger at the fourth fret on the G, so we get a major chord. Again, we're just allowing the higher strings to ring out underneath our bar at the third fret. 
Descending down further, we get to our F, which is this exact same shape, transposed down two frets. So we're now at the first fret with our bar, third fret with our third finger, third fret on the D with our fourth finger, and second finger is on the second fret of the G. So if we take a look at putting those bar chords together for our verse part to incorporate the descension from the A minor to the F, and then reascending from the F back to the A minor throughout the verse. It should sound like this, starting with our A minor. One, two, three, four. Starting our descent to the F. And coming back up. Okay, so let's take a look at a version of that you could play using our open chords. Here we're going to turn that descending riff into a single note riff. So we're going to be playing an A on our open A instead of our A minor bar chord. We're then going to play third fret on the E string to play our G note as opposed to our G bar chord. And then finally we're going to get to our F which we could play as first fret on the E string or we could simply land in our F chord. So to show you how that sounds, we'll be on our A minor. And here comes the riff. So that's A, G, F. As I said, you could use that A minor chord to represent that A note in the riff. And when you land on your first fret, the F of that riff, you could just use your F chord to represent that note. So that would sound a bit like this. As I said though, that riff really should be viewed as an extra and maybe get comfortable with your open chords first before trying to incorporate that in the verse. Okay, so let's take a look at how that fits together structurally. We have an intro, which is six bars of A minor, followed by our verse, which is four bars of A minor, four bars of F, and we repeat that twice. We then get a very brief bridge into our chorus, which is simply the G chord. We then get our chorus, which is two bars of F, two bars of D minor, two bars of A minor, and two bars of G. We repeat that sequence twice, and then we tag on this little bridge back into the verse, which is two bars of F, two bars of D minor. We then repeat everything we've just played there. So we go back to our intro, this time for two bars, another verse, another bridge, another chorus before we finally have the third verse, which is the rap, and then our final chorus, which is slightly elongated, but I'll take you through that when we get there. So if we put all that together, it should look like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Six, into our verse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, to F. to a minor and we repeat Bridge back into F, F, D minor. 
Okay, so the strumming pattern for this song is relatively straightforward. We're simply only going to be playing downstrokes on every beat of the bar. So that should sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That remains the same no matter what chord you're playing, no matter what bar you're on, or what part of the song you're on. However, we can make that slightly more complicated and a little bit more rhythmical by introducing what we call palm muting. And if you're unfamiliar with that, all that means is I'm gonna take the palm of my hand, sort of fleshy part here, and lay it across the strings around about level or just in front of the bridge. You can play around with how much pressure you apply to the strings with your palm, but you really only wanna rest it there in order to allow enough sound to ring out so we don't completely choke the strings on our guitar, like so. So play around with that until you find a sound that you're happy with. Then for our chorus, we're going to keep exactly the same strumming pattern. We're just going to allow our hand to be a little bit looser and let the strings ring out more fully, like so. repeating the verse and chorus sections. If you'd like access to a lead sheet that details the song's entire structure, please check out my Patreon in the description below. There'll also be a full playthrough cover version of this song available on my channel. Please click through the link at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, that's the end of this video. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you enjoyed it or found any of it useful. You might also like to check out some of these videos and let me know in the comments section below what you'd like to learn next. Until then, I'll see you there.